Hi Jess. I saw your most recent video and I can say that I can empathize with you about not really knowing what to talk about because I have had some times since we started this project that I just felt like I didn't have anything interesting to say or maybe what I did have was just too involved for the short amount of time I had and I just didn't know what to do and somehow I always made do um, but I've definitely been in that spot and I just think it's really brave of you to just be honest and say hey this is what I got today either way it was really great to see your face and I'm really excited to see you tonight so we can talk some more I really wasn't sure what to talk about um, but on Wednesday my day off I actually painted my nails they are mint green, which is a color I really like. Um, so I'm quite proud of that. And it reminded me of how a couple weeks ago you asked me what my favorite color was. And I said, well, my favorite color is purple. And you said, oh, well, I thought it was mint green. And I said, well, that's my other favorite color. Uh, but I can see why you would be confused um, because sometimes I'm a little confused too. And it sort of got me thinking, you know, like, what is my favorite color? Am I just lying to myself and saying that purple is my favorite color when really it is mint green? Do I need to like totally reevaluate my whole life and figure out what my favorite color truly is? How can I not know this super simple fact about myself? I mean, it's not supposed to be a complicated question, right? Who even am I? I think I'm having an identity crisis here. <sighs> okay, breathe. Okay. Um, let's just talk through it. Yeah. That's something vloggers do, right? Like talk therapy. Um, so the first time that I can remember having a favorite color, it was blue. Um, I remember because Julie and I both wanted the blue drinking cups in our house. Then pretty quick it changed to pink. And I always loved pink and I wore almost exclusively pink clothes and then had a little orange thrown in there. Um, and then, of course, as I went into high school, I started to diversify my color scheme, thankfully. Um, I actually own, I think, a lot more blues and greens now than I do um, pink, but I still really love um, all of those warm colors. But also, as I went into high school and college, I sort of gravitated more towards purple as my favorite color instead of pink. But I still loved orange and pink and yellow and just all those nice, warm, bright colors. So when it came time to pick my wedding colors, I went with purple with orange and yellow accents, which, oh, you were there. You remember. See? I also have purple stones in my ring here. Um, I picked that out myself, which you know, Jess. Purple is, of course, one of the colors of my college, so that's pretty cool. But in the past few years, I also started to notice that I bought a lot of things for myself that were mint green and not purple, um, such as this backpack, which I had since, I've had since freshman year of high school my purse, this flash drive, which perfectly matches my nails right now, this shirt, this scarf, and just a lot of random things that I can't really explain. I just really liked the way they looked. So what can I say, Jess? Maybe mint green is my new favorite? Maybe now that I am out of college and I'm in a new stage of life, maybe I do need a new favorite color to sort of go with the new adult me. Maybe purple and mint can both be my favorite color. Maybe there are no rules. I don't know if you have any insight or advice into the situation, Jess, but if you do, I would love to hear it. Otherwise, lucky for me, they do look pretty good together, don't you think? Like I said, I'm so excited to see you tonight and also in your next vlog. Bye, Jess. See you on Monday.